Hi everyone, I am back with another video. This time it will be for Super Tarts. They had a RTS that I ordered from. It's a very small order, but I just wanted to go over what I got um, and just um, share that with you. So Super Tarts, if you're not familiar, is a small business um, owned by husband and wife, Brandy and Brady. They are based out of Washington State. Um, I have placed, I believe this is my third order uh, that I've placed with them. And so far, I've been really impressed with what I have um, purchased so far. I know seeing other reviews on Super Tarts, there have been mixed reviews. However, I decided to give them a try because um, you can't always go off of um, everyone's opinion, everyone may not like the same things so it's always good to try things out for yourself and make your own informed decision and that's what I did and I'm so glad that I did not to say that I'm gonna like every scent but I'm glad that I took the chance to try them because the things that I've I have tried or have purchased um, and is waiting to melt I have um, been enjoying so without further ado let's get started um, first I will say that this shipment came pretty quickly I ordered it on the 31st. It shipped out on February 1st and it just got delivered today. So that was pretty quick um, for this order, you know, with everything that, that's been going on with the post office and packages that are delayed. I'm still waiting on some packages that have not been delayed or have not been delivered um, that shipped out in December. So that's very frustrating to say the least. So it's very exciting when you see something that you order come quickly. Um, and you don't have to deal with the issues with the post office and the delays that's currently going on. Hopefully they can fix that soon. Fingers crossed. So I picked up some of the um, Advent calendar uh, clammies or clamshells. They had did in December around the holidays a Advent calendar for cents. And for, you know, each day in December, you opened up each day, melted that blend. So that advent calendar went over so well that they decided to uh, do a pre-order for the advent calendar scents. Uh, and you were able to get clam shells or either BAM bags. Their BAM bags are usually between 10 to 11 ounces of um, wax chunks. And um, I decided to order those um, when they did offer it for the pre-order. Because I was not familiar with the scents, I only ordered two BAM bags and then the rest of the items I had ordered in clamshell, clamshells. However, Brandy surprised us when um, she had did a post and she was like, you know, there's going to be a restock. And when I went to go see what was available for the restock, lo and behold, she had surprised us and added some more of the Advent, Advent calendar day scents that were part of the pre-order and I'm assuming that these were just leftover pours that she had available and she decided to put them into the restock which was amazing so of course I grabbed up a couple of the ones that I um really enjoyed when I ordered them previously so I'll go over those and um, take it from there so I have day two and day two was one that and the pre-order sold out very, very quickly. So I'm very happy that I was able to grab some in the pre-order and to get a couple of more in the RTS because it's a really good blend. And it's sea salt, strawberry, ozone, birch, water lily, citrus, and musk. And this scent is a very, um, I'm trying to think like, I don't want to say, it's a nice outdoors outdoor fresh scent if I can get it open bear with me okay ah oh, this this smells it's just so fresh and that musk gives it a warm woodsy note and then of course you have the the sea salt the strawberry the ozone the birch and the water lily it's not like too florally, but this is really nice. Oh, I love it. I can smell this all day. So I am very excited that I did get this 
um, now I see what the hype is about. This is a fan favorite. It's day two of the advent calendar. Um, that was, you know, it, like I said, it sold out pretty quickly. So I was able to pick up two. Then I picked up day three. And day three is molasses cookies, toffee, toffee marshmallow, and vanilla brown sugar. So this one is more of a bakery blend, which is really nice. And you get, oh, you get that um that toffee and that molasses. You, it, like that comes out first. And then you get that marshmallow or the vanilla brown sugar in the background. It's just a nice, sweet blend. And let me show you guys what the clams look like. So they're just plain, um, no embeds or anything, no, no glitter. Some people don't like glitter. I love glitter. Um, the little extra special touches, I, I don't mind that I enjoy it. But these are nice um, as well. Very simple, um, but they pack a punch. Then I picked up day 14, which is mallow fluff, chocolate chip cookie dough, and waffle cone. So again, another bakery blend. There's the wax color. It's a pretty teal color. This is, um, I like that. Reminds me of uh, swimming in the ocean. So, and this one, I get that chocolate chip cookie. I'm a big fan of chocolate chip cookie dough, so that's the first thing my nose picked up was the chocolate chip cookie dough. And I get that waffle cone. And the mallow fluff is in the background. This one smells good too. Um, I can't wait to actually melt this. A lot of times you can't really go off of cold sniff, even though you may say, oh, this smells amazing, this smells great. The true test is when you go to put it in your warmer, that's when you really can see um, what a blend does once you you know melt it and get some heat to it. So the next one that I got was day 23, and this is butter rum, cappuccino, pumpkin rolls, and vanilla frosting. And this one is just a cream colored wax, very plain again. Very simplistic. Um, and this one, I get the cappuccino. I'm not getting pumpkin. I'm getting the vanilla frosting and the butter rum. Um, That pumpkin may come out more so um, once I warm this, but as of right now, I'm not really getting the pumpkin uh, roll in this. But it's still a nice blend um, nonetheless, so we'll see what it does on warm. Then this one was, when it, when it was in the advent calendar, and I believe in the pre-order, I believe she had this labeled day 25, um, but of course um, she just has on this label Christmas day. These labels are really pretty, so I do like them. Um, and this one is cookies for Grinch, eggnog, whipped cream, and zucchini bread. So of course, because of my love of zucchini bread, I had to get this one as well. Oh, and this one is really good. And this is um, a really pretty, I would say, like a, a mossy green 
color in wax. This smells really good. Um, that eggnog hits you first. Then you get that creaminess from the whipped cream. The zucchini bread. And you get a, a cookie note in the background as well. So this one is really good too. I, I am definitely looking forward to melting this one. Um, and again, it's cookies for Grinch, eggnog, whipped cream, and zucchini bread. So of course, I had to get more of this one because it had eggnog, come on, focus, and zucchini bread, um, two things that I like in wax melt blends. So this was... Um, you know, my, my small RTS order that I got, um, when you do place an order with them, they do include an invoice. Um, they also include a sample. So my sample here is Charlie and Charlie is a blend of, let me see, I wrote it down, a blend of cream soda, pralines and caramel pe pecans, 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 however you say it. Um, this one, is very heavy on the caramel and the pralines. It's creamy, so I'm assuming that's coming from the cream soda, but this is what this sample looks like. I think this is so cute. <laughs> um, it's like a mini clamshell. So we'll see how this one is on warm. I may have to eventually place an order um, for a full size clam when this comes in an RTS or maybe in an upcoming pre-order. Um, because I, I am intrigued by this one. So we shall see. But this one is called Charlie. So, but yep, this is my small RCS order. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, as always, comment, like, subscribe. And I will talk to you guys soon. Have a good one. Bye.